Okay, we are at GP Factor in Ephrata, Pennsylvania, and we're gonna go check out and see what they're working on. I've heard they've got a new board for the canopy camper with Red Arc, and we're gonna install this thing this weekend at OK4 Wheel Drive, but I wanted to stop here first. AJ, what's up, man? How are you? Hey, honey, Jason, how are you doing? Good, good. good. Yeah. good. What are you working on? So we're just finishing up the Manager 30 kits, the first batch, actually, so we got a lot more to do still. And uh, we got yours done, so we got that here today. And uh, we'll go through that board and show everybody what's it about. Sweet. All right, here it is. Boy, here this it is, is exciting. Yeah, what, what do we got here? So what we got here is your new Red Arc Red Vision Manager 30 kit um, that's gonna go into your canopy camper uh, into the top cabinet where your existing electrical work already is right now. And for a wiring system, what makes it nice for us as a company building these in a kit that's production is you have one ecosystem in, in Red Arc then working with the ecosystem of the truck. This is your main unit with all the wiring, all your harnesses, and, and your, the full Manager 30 in the TVMS uh, box. And over here you've got your face plate, um, obviously with your Red Vision display, which also controls all the entire system itself. And this would obviously be on top of this when it's mounted fully. We have it out so you can see everything right now. It's gonna manage your solar power coming in. It's gonna manage your auxiliary batteries, your house batteries in the back of the camper. It's gonna give you all your fuse hookups for all your accessories, no matter from USBs to fridges, to, to extra connectors for water pumps, you name it. It just does everything in one system. So once you get your, your camper, your four camper accessories and the solar hooked up, you mount this board up and then everything else is done from the bottom. Yeah, so you guys have been kind of working on the design for this too, because trying to fit all of that wiring up behind the existing panels that you've, mm -hmm. you've kind of supplied in the past was a little bit of work, but now right. this is open on the bottom, so right. you know you can go straight up into a loom really nice, really easy, easy to maintain, easy to add on to as well, right? Correct. Red Arc does a really good job with our electronics, so we wanted to make a kit that was worthy of the, the quality of electronics we're using to uh, give people a really good turnkey solution for their campers. Nice. So. These will come fully assembled together, but since we wanted to show the inside of the uh, the full uh, boxes that control everything uh, in this video, we wanted you to see that. So we're going to actually show you how we mount this in here as well. Okay, that's it, we're all done. The board's all assembled and all we have to do is get in the truck and uh, we're good to go. All right, we've got the unit in the box. We're gonna load it in the truck. We're gonna take it to OK Four Wheel Drive. We're gonna get this thing installed and we'll check in with you later. Yeah, we're in the shop here at OK Four Wheel Drive. Um, we were just at GP Factor yesterday, planning to get some tires and some new wheels mounted up and a couple other small pieces from GP Factor as well, but we'll give you guys kind of a rundown on what that stuff is a little bit later. We're gonna get all the this cabinet out and then we're gonna take the old uh, power board out too. So, drawers first. So we've already got this power board installed and we've got a lot of wires coming down here and we're gonna have to be making some changes but the plan here is to actually mount a battery in behind these fridges lithium-ion battery and then we're gonna run power up to um, the new panel here we're gonna take this off and see what we find behind here I don't know who built this board but <laughs> probably didn't know what they were doing no, I, 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 excuse me. No, I'm the one that built it. That's I know what I'm you, saying. I know. No, yeah, you did. If you go back and actually watch the. Yeah, yeah. You, we did a good job. I mean, we did. We, we, did. we yeah. thought about how we were going to lay this out because the yeah. charge controller is actually yeah. back here. Yeah. It's a lot um, different than the than the new ones, obviously. But the, at the time, this was a this is a really good option for the, for the campers. In order to kind of remember what we're doing and speed things up a little bit, we're going to label these so. Um, we know where and what goes to what when we put the new board on. With the older style campers, for those of you that have an older camper, it's maybe two years plus old, um, 
they didn't have a common ground for all the accessories, whereas the new ones have a common ground. So we'll ground all the grounds for those together, and then the accessories will have their own spots on the Red Vision board. These connectors are already on the bottom, coming out the bottom of the board, so we don't have to, we just plug them in, it's done. So we're gonna do the water pump now. We're gonna do these, the fan for the fireplace. And then we'll do your two fans up here, these nice Sirocco fans you got here. And we'll do the camper accessories then. So we'll get all these connectors on so it's plug and play. So the, the crimp tool, that's your little connector right there. And that goes in this, this tool right here, fancy tool. And you crimp down so it does it the same way every time. You can get this on Amazon. Amazon yeah. Amazon's the best place to get it. Okay. There's, uh, there's the name brand one that's like 100 bucks. There's this one that's like 50. And then there's the... Amazon version that's like 25 and the Amazon version works the same as this one So I'd get the Amazon version have your plan before you start cutting wire and before you start ripping stuff out like no a Basic plan to lay out maybe even draw it out in a piece of paper So you know where your wires are gonna run you know what you have to hook up You know how many accessories you have to hook up to the red vision board It just makes it a lot easier so you can manage your connections You know what wires have to be run so that when you get done with uh, hooking everything up, you don't have it all mounted, and then you're like, oh wait, something doesn't work. Um, like my truck battery's not hooked up, um, my solar's not grounded, so those things all, make sure you just have a good plan in place. A bunch of little projects, a little fun stuff, but it's a GP factory install type of day, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these little fun steps um, on the side of the canopy camper um, that'll actually fold down and allow us to climb up on top of the truck to load boats, check on maybe some wiring, pull some branches out from underneath the load bars, whatever needs to be done. But we're gonna zip these guys on real quick and move on to the next step. There's actually a magnet here. Um, if you can see it on the camera on either side, which kind of helps this thing kind of snap together and kind of stay shut so it doesn't bounce around and come off. It's just these stainless Allen bolts here and there's little threaded pucks behind there. Um, I've got them in. Um, and allows you to position where this, where you want it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this thing kind of low um, so it's easy to climb to from, you know, down here at the tire. So yeah, we'll just tighten these down and hit the other side and we'll be done. All right, let's talk battery. This is a Renogy lithium iron phosphate 50 amp hour battery. It measures about six inches tall, six inches deep, and about seven to six and a half inches wide. So it's gonna be a perfect fit behind the two angle fridges we have mounted um, in the canopy camper and underneath the IU cab um, water tank. Uh, here are the angle stainless strap hold downs for fridges um, that we previously had installed in the canopy camper floor. Um, I'm gonna reuse these and use like a cam strap, like an NRS strap or something like that and essentially either go over top of the battery this way or this way to kind of keep it down. This thing is super light, right? And super awesome, excited about getting it mounted in. Uh, we had previously talked about using a deep cycle systems battery and installing that in the truck, which is pretty awesome. It's about two inches thick by about 27 inches wide, something like that. But the Anderson connections are built into it. It's plug and play, it's ready to go, super easy to use. It just couldn't come to market in time for us to get this build complete and we're hitting the road. So um, yeah, reach out to Carl at Deep Cycle Systems if you're interested in their products. Um, I'm pretty excited to see him hit the floor. All right, it's break time. We're gonna hit the road in the Tundra and uh, go tool around a little bit. It is like 96, 98 degrees and like it feels like 90%, maybe 100% humidity. It is just hot. We are gonna have to find a pool tonight for sure. Yeah, we're getting a lot done today. It's, uh, we're taking our time, which is obviously nice. And um, I think all we have to do when we get back is get like the shunt and some of the other stuff hooked up. But uh, it should be, should be fairly easy uh, for the rest of the install, pretty straightforward. It helps that a lot of the stuff was already run to the camper for your other setup that you had before. You've got a shovel too that you're working on? We did two different um, recovery shovels. Um, honestly, it, it came down to we, you know, we didn't like what was on the market, uh, just personally, and we wanted something simple uh, but effective. But uh, no, it's cool. We really like it a lot. It's 100% made in the US. We make it right here. Well, let's take a look at it when we get back. Yeah, absolutely. This is the first shovel we did. This was the, the solid piece one here. So solid one piece uh, 
welded aluminum shovel, and it's got a T-handled slot, so it's pretty durable. Very simple. And we bevel the edge. We try to keep it like a, a, tr a traditional spade shovel, so it's a little bit easier to dig with. But you know, a simple tool that's you know no super frills, but it'll work really well for for a good recovery shovel. And then we have another version of it that is a little more fancier version. And that version will come with the handles actually threaded. It's got a 3 inch thread on it, and then we're making little brass ends for it. So what's cool about this one is you can take this uh, pin out here and take the shovel apart, and you've got yourself a 26 ounce hammer to use for pounding intense stakes or morning stakes or anything else at camp. So and it stores nicely too, because you can uh, you know, throw it in a easy storage bag or something if you want to in your camper. The way we designed the coupler is that it's designed so it doesn't rotate. Um, so it, it is going to wear because obviously metal on metal wears, you know, as you're using it and whatnot. So this way it kind of reduces the wear down. That's why it's raw too, so we get a little bit better fit because the powder coat obviously would, would make it pretty hard to put together and take apart. So it'll go in right there. You'll throw the this wire lock pin in and that's it. So these will be out pretty soon here. I think both will be out this month, and you'll definitely be able to get them at, at you know, on Oki 4 Drive's website uh, probably before the end of August for sure. So that is it. So from here we've got, you've got your truck and you've got your house battery, your auxiliary battery. We've got our positive running to the truck, which is right here. And then we've got a, this is a ground um, that we're running back to the shunt, the battery monitor, the shunt, the ground, the solar. So what we're running is we're running all that stuff back then, which is going to run directly to either the truck, or it's going to run to the, to the battery monitor here, which then runs to the house battery, which is right back here, which will be behind your fridges. So now we are going to put the mounting brackets in, measure them to make sure they're the correct height, and once they're in, we'll tighten them down, then we'll throw the, plug the board into the camper, mount the board up, and from there, we're almost done. So, hey guys, I'm Sam with OK Four Wheel Drive. Uh, this is the GP Factor Red Vision board. So it's a full Red Arc TVMS system. So it's a total vehicle management system. Um, so I'm gonna hop in the truck and kind of show you what it can do. Basically the Red Vision can control everything inside of the camper. Um, we have a shore power plug on the back so you can plug your camper in if it's gonna be sitting for a while. Um, this also incorporates a solar controller inside the Manager 30. So the solar panels that you put up on your truck uh, can charge through the battery. Um, so if you look at the panel, we have all of our camper controls here. So these are the inside lights. You can see the lights are on right now. Um, so it's all digitally switched uh, inside of the Red Vision. Um, we've got various fans, um, the chargers that are up in the bed area. Um, we have a water pump in here. Um, and the cool thing is, is you can control all this stuff from your phone also. Um, so you can see, if I go to this front page, um, if I hit my, uh, the camper lights, they also turn off on the Red Vision. So that's a really nice feature if you're up in your bed and you want to turn your lights off and you don't feel like reaching down um, you, and you have your phone up there with you, you can tap the lights. Um, it's a 30 amp charger. So this truck has a 50 amp hour battery, so it charges it relatively quickly. Um, it runs a pretty big fridge. Um, so the fridge is also connected to this. With something like a fridge, uh, you can lock the control on all the time. So the fridge will never turn off unless I uh, kill the power to the whole unit. Uh, same thing with the chargers on the side of the, of the panel. Um, I keep those locked on all the time. Uh, all this is very configurable. Uh, you can do it all inside the app. Uh, all the switches are controlled uh, and programmed inside the app. Right now in Jason's truck, um, the charger is showing 0% just because the Red Vision and the Mandra 30 do kind of have to learn the battery's capacity. Uh, there's a shunt hidden inside the goose gear that reads the power input and the actual power output. Um, so it does need to learn the system a little bit. When you do plug this in initially, it will say 0%. Don't worry. Um, as there, uh, there's some charge cycles and some discharge cycles, uh, it'll learn the capacity of the battery and it'll tell you how much time you have left. So right now my fridge is kicked on uh, and it says it can run my fridge for basically 11 hours. Uh, and then once the fridge turns off, uh, it'll go back up. And if you turn lights on and other loads, um, that time will calculate and basically go down. So it gives you a good idea of how much power you have left. Um, I have a relatively small battery in here for the kind of load that I have. So if you did upgrade your battery, all you have to do is tell the Red Vision what the new capacity is. Cool, thanks buddy. Yeah, no problem.
We are at OK Four Wheel Drive. We're gonna get some wheels and tires mounted on the Tacoma before we head out west for Colorado and Oklahoma. We're gonna be spending some time out there filming after and before Overland Expo. But right now we're gonna be mounting up some Toyo MTs on some Nomad wheels. You guys have seen these things and we've got a set of them that we're gonna be installing on the Tacoma. Let's get to it. All right, truck is done and we're heading back to West Virginia. We're gonna put some miles on, check the lug nuts before we get going and I got a little friend here. How are you? And then we'll see you in Colorado or maybe Oklahoma. Talk to you soon.